welcome traders to this video we're going to be looking at is past the level one uh low risk evaluation on the 40k account and um, yeah just really excited to um find out more about your training style obviously um so so yeah just just give us a little uh, a brief background about how long you've been trading for in the market um, I would say I've been trading the Forex market roughly about two years now, two and a half years. Right, okay. And yeah. uh, in terms of prop trading, uh, have you used other prop firms before? Uh, yes, I've used FTMO before. Okay. Um, I've been on FTMO. I've been on multiple accounts, so yeah, it's not my first time. <laughs> And uh, just briefly, how would we compare to other prop firms? Um, yeah, from your experience, I would say um, that FT UK has a good progressive system, um, but it allows you to have a, you know, have an account up to two million pounds. So compared yeah. to other big prop firms like FTMO, there's there's a huge difference, whereas FTMO only allows you to have up to two hundred thousand. Right. Okay. So in so that's, that's, yeah. In terms of scaling, in that sense, yeah, 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 in, yeah. In that sense, it's, it's, yeah. it's got more of um, yeah, you get more of a capital. That's that's the yeah. good thing about it. I would say. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. That's um, that's great to hear about the the, the scaling process. Obviously, um, on the you're on the, the low risk evaluation 40k so essentially you're going to be going on to trade 40k live and then once you hit the same profit uh target milestone 10 percent we increase it to 80k and then so on all the way up exactly. to yeah. uh, 2 million so yeah it's as long as you're hitting the targets and uh, we can see that the the trade is um uh, performing well and also replicating the similar trading style you know not going crazy with the risk and uh, keeping control of the account then um yeah. Then there's no reason that the trader can't get to much much higher levels, which uh, means that the trader can obviously earn much much more profit uh, for themselves. Um, so, so in terms of the actual trading account, then um, have you enjoyed uh, trading with no swaps, no commissions, um, and the spreads are pretty pretty uh, low, right? Yeah, they are quite low actually compared to actual brokers where, where I trade through. Mm. They are reason, yeah, reasonably low compared to other. So, in terms of your main trading style, then, um, uh, what would you say uh, you've used on this account to actually pass the the low risk evaluation? Uh, let me let me tell you this: I've been through a lot of top yeah. firm accounts. I've been okay. through a lot. Yeah. yeah, probably over the past one year, probably like 12, 13 accounts. Okay, well, yeah. wow. well. Wow. Um, what 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 did happen is when I initially started, I thought I was ready. Yeah. So, whenever you know the thing of trading is, yeah, there's all oh, the market will never move the same way. So, mm. why did for, like for the last what for my last few accounts that I had with you guys, what I did was have more patience. That's why that's that's the main key, patience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can. You can. Like, I'm. I, I think I'm reasonably a good trader, but if you don't have the patience and you don't enter mar the market at the right time, mm -hmm. you're not gonna catch those pips. Yeah. Well, if, if you, the thing is, when you see a trend, yeah, and you you may think that it's gonna go your way, but if you enter too late. It can go the opposite direction so easily, especially if you're if you're um, a day trader or a scalper. Yeah. Okay, so time is is a very plays a big yeah. factor. So, and uh, um, would you say you're a day trader or a scalper or a swing trader? Uh, I would say I'm more of a day trader, to be honest. Um, I, okay. I, I do scalp at times, but rarely scalp. Yeah, because um, you've you've not placed too many trades. I mean, thirty five is relatively a small amount compared to other traders we've seen. Um, yeah, but but the win rate is so high. You know, eighty percent. Yeah, 
um, and and it combined as well with with very good uh, risk to reward ratio, especially as yeah. the biggest loss. They're just what uh, just above half a percent really. Uh, we can yeah. see that you've kept the risk um, to a minimum. Um, so when you say like looking at the trends, are you looking at, well what sort of time frames are you looking at? Are you looking at the four hour, the daily, the weekly? Well, let's let's have, let, let's say we look at the um, the GBP yeah. and USD. So with that one, that day is one of my favorite ones. Okay. So I know ex I followed yeah. this, this this specific market for a long time. I look at it, and when I wake up in the morning, I have yeah. to like, you know, see where I could where I could potentially enter the trade. Right. So what I do is look at the four hour first. And from the four hour um, time frame, I can see in the long term where uh, where the market will kind of which direction it will go. And right. then we'll switch to the 15 minute time frame. And from there on, um, I can I can I can see in for the, for the short one where the direct where, where the where the, um, where the where the direction will uh, yeah, go to wherever we go. Entry. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I'll take it GBP USD, as you mentioned, is is your more favorite instrument to trade. Yeah. Um, so so we can see uh, that obviously you've hit the profit target. Um, you've mentioned before that you've had other accounts. Um, but, but on this account, obviously, you've been able to hit the profit target, relatively good performance. Um, well, exceptional performance if we look at the profit factor. Um, so I think, um, you know, if you continue this way, I like the amount, the, the, the small amount of instruments that you're looking at as well. We get traders um, who, who come with us, they'll uh, reach a profit target or perhaps won't reach a profit target, but they'll use like uh, endless amounts of instruments, you know, 10, 20, yeah. 30. And it, it can get a little bit messy. So the fact that you're honing in and focusing on just, GBP USD and USD CAD is is uh yeah. is good to see. Uh, so, do you think you'll probably uh, look to continue operating on these, uh, or will you expand your your instruments as you go on? Or, um, well, I've got experience with a few others, um, with gold as well. I do have some experience with gold. Okay, cool. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I might even move on to gold. Um, right. but with these with these two, I'm very confident. So, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Um. And 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 you've covered already a lot, but finally, what would you um, what would you say to uh, potentially other traders who are joining FT UK? Um, what would you say? Uh, well, maybe one point of advice to actually pass the first evaluation phase. Um, well, key key to pass is having patience. If you if you're a good trader out there and you think. I want to get funded by a prop firm because I haven't got enough cash or not enough capital. Yeah. You know, get an account, but don't think I need to pass this ASAP. Mm. I need to get this money as soon as possible. Don't think that way. J just like your own account, when you trade with another broker, you should also have patience with this. If, if, even, even though it, th there might be strict rules on it, but at the same time, if you don't follow your own rules and the prop firm's rules, you're not going to pass this. And and do you think uh, our rules are, are fair? I uh, yeah, they're relatively fair to be honest. Um, I, I, well, five percent. I mean, yeah, five percent max loss. It's a bit tight, but it is. Yeah, if you're a good if, if you're a good trader, and you know you know how to you know how to, how, to, how to have a good strategy and not yeah. not fall below that you'll be fine yeah it's all about uh comes down to the risk then because you mentioned five percent drawdown but in your trades you've only risked half a percent um exactly. so so it gives you it gives you multiple efforts or at least multiple attempts um so that you're not just going in with large risk and you might eat up a lot of that drawdown um, it's all about volume and skill set then uh, for the trader. You, you, you need to risk, well, the equity stop out is 500 on this account, but you needed to make 1,000. Um, so it's a, essentially a one to two risk reward in that sense. 
Um, yeah. So so yeah, it's it's just about keeping the risk low, I guess, and um, and and yeah, like you say, patience is a massive factor uh, in, in passing, and also just general trading on personal accounts, trading success. It all uh, it all requires patience, especially when finding those those opportunities, as you've mentioned. So so your your goal is long term. Then I take it are you you're looking just to uh, build upon your prop accounts um, and and take your trading career to the next level is that right yeah exactly i want i want to reach that two million that's available there so yeah yeah absolutely yeah yeah hopefully i get there okay yeah sure thank you very much all right well take care and have a great week cheers have a nice day as well yeah cheers bye. take care bye.